Char Kway Tiao is now world famous. Siam Root Char Kway Tiao of Penang was ranked 14 on the World Street Food Top 50 list at the World Street Food Congress in 2017. Now it was described as the classic traveling food cart on four wheels. Mr. Tan, the owners, cook it over a perfect over the decades wood firewalk. And the smoky appeals is a reason for the lines whenever he drags his Chakwe Tiao car too. If you visit Penang, head straight to Siam Ru Chakwe Tiao. If you do not have that plan, I have the video here about how to prepare this world famous street food. Let's take a look of the ingredients required before we move on to the actual stir frying, the noodles. The noodles, called kuei tiao. There are two types of kuei tiao available. The wider one is more suitable for stir frying, and the narrow one is better for soup noodles. Loosen it so that they will not stack up on each other. Blood cockles. These cockles are the signature ingredients of char kway tiao. Follow this step to clean and prepare the cockles. Rinse the cockles with water. Remove the cockles and place them in another container. Add some water enough to cover them. Change the water a few times until the water runs clear. Add a teaspoon of salt to the water and wait for a few minutes. Soak the cockles in hot water for half a minute if you have difficulty to open the shell. Hot water helps to loosen the shell. Open the shell by using a small knife or just by bare hand. Bean sprouts. Soak the bean sprouts in water can keep it fresh for a few days. Fish cake. Cut the fish cake into thin slices. It is too troublesome to make a fish cake just for preparing a plate of noodles. Even the professional char kway tiao store owners are using the ready-made fish cake. I use fish cake instead of Chinese sausage in this recipe. Prawns. Clean, de-vein and apply some salt and let it sit for 10 minutes. Then wash with running water. Salt can make the prawns to become more crunchy. Egg. Crack an egg. Chinese chives. Cut the Chinese chives into sections, about 5 cm. The seasoning. For 200 grams of kuei tiao, here are the seasonings that you need. 4 teaspoons or about 20 grams of light soy sauce 2 teaspoons or 10 grams of oyster sauce 1 teaspoon about 5 grams of dark soy sauce half teaspoon about 2 grams of fish sauce which is optional and finally quarter teaspoon about 2 grams of ground white pepper Stir frying is a quick and free flowing process Make sure you have all the ingredients within reach before you start. It will only take less than 5 minutes. Ladle some oil into a well seasoned wok. Once the oil is heated up, put two prawns into the wok. Let the prawns shear on one side and then flip over to pan fry the other side. Add some chopped garlic once it becomes aromatic. Show in the loosened up kuei tiao. Kuei tiao tend to stick if the wok is not seasoned. If you feel the kuei tiao is about to stick, you can either do any of the following. Add part of the seasoning. The seasoning mixture moistens the kuei tiao and prevents it from sticking. Add some more oil if it is insufficient. Add a small number of bean sprouts to the kuei tiao. The water from the bean sprout will prevent the kuei tiao from getting too dry. What's the best time to add the egg? It is after the kuei tiao seasoning sauce has thoroughly mixed with the noodles. 
the high heat should have caramelized the sauce and start to char the edges of the noodles. You will start to smell the wok aroma permeates the whole kitchen. At this stage, there will be plenty of smoke rising from the wok. This moment is when you should turn down the heat and push the noodles to the side of the wok, leaving a clean area for adding the egg. Add the fish cake. You can add the fish cake slices at any time to the wok as it is already pre-cooked. Reduce the heat to low medium. Crack an egg and spread into a thin layer with the wok spatula. When the egg becomes half cooked, lift up the kuei tiao and flip it onto the egg. Stir and flip quickly so that part of the egg will stick onto the kuei tiao. Add the last portion of the bean sprouts along with the Chinese chives and have a quick stir fry over high heat. Add a cockroach. Turn off the heat and cover with the noodles. The heat from the wok is sufficient for cooking the cockroach. Most people like the cockroach to be just barely cooked. And earlier, if you prefer to eat fully cooked cockroach. I've just shown you how to prepare this cha kuei tiao. You can download the recipe and read more about cha kuei tiao on my blog, tasteasianfood.com cha kuei tiao. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button below. You'll find there are many more of the similar Asian dishes out there. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. And my name is KP Kwan. Bye for now.